So chapter 15, the topic is chemical equilibrium. So in chapter 14, we were talking about kinetics, rates of reaction. That has to do with the speed of a reaction. The extent of a reaction, how far it goes, is governed by thermodynamics. The equilibrium constant, symbolized by a capital K, is an experimentally measurable quantity that we use to quantify how far does the reaction go. Does it go to completion? Does it go halfway? Does it go a little bit? So if we have a very large equilibrium constant, the reaction is going to favor the products. There'll be more products once it comes to equilibrium than reactants. If you have a small equilibrium constant, that means it favors the reactants. So up to this point, um, we've selectively talked about equilibrium in sections of the courses that you may have taken. But overall, we've sort of assumed that, oh, these two things react. That means everything reacts. There's a limiting reactant. But other than that, everything reacts. We lied to you. That's not true. Um, even reactions that uh, you know, don't seem to happen at all, like this thing doesn't precipitate or this thing doesn't dissolve at all, they may actually go a little bit. So there's not a, a hard line, but there's sort of a continuum. I don't like that either, but it is what it is. So the magnitude, how big the equilibrium constant, is something that we're going to look at in chapter 18. But now we're going to understand the meaning of a measured equilibrium constant. So your book uses the analogy of um, hemoglobin and oxygen in your blood. Have you ever wondered how your blood transports oxygen? And hemoglobin has something to do with it, but it's actually a chemical equilibrium. So your red blood cells have a protein called hemoglobin, and we're just going to call it Hb. It reacts with oxygen. So oxygen binds to the hemoglobin. It just like grabs onto the oxygen. This is an equilibrium reaction, though. The hemoglobin can also release oxygen. So what happens is um, this equilibrium depends on the concentrations of the reactants and the products. So in your lungs, where there's hopefully a lot of oxygen, the forward reaction is going to occur because the rate of that reaction depends on the concentration of the oxygen. There's lots of oxygen, the forward reaction goes. When that hemoglobin in your blood moves to other parts of your body, your muscles say, where the oxygen has been used and oxygen is needed, now the oxygen concentration is lower, and so the reverse reaction occurs, and the hemoglobin gives up the oxygen. So it's, it's a really neat system. The relative concentra well, the concentrations of reactions and products are described by that equilibrium constant. And um, we'll also be talking about Le Chatelier's principle. Equilibrium systems respond to changes, such as a change in one of the reactant concentrations, in a way that maintains the equilibrium. So hemoglobin transports oxygen from your lungs to all parts of your body. So here in the lungs, high oxygen concentration, the reaction is going to shift to the right. In your muscles and organs, the oxygen level is low. And so this being low causes the reaction to shift to the left. And the hemoglobin that's holding oxygen will release it. Any questions? Yeah. So yeah, what about your, your hemoglobin level, or essentially the concentration of hemoglobin in your blood? That would play a part um, in terms of how much oxygen could be transported, because the more hemoglobin there is, the more oxygen can be transported. Right? If you don't have enough hemoglobin in your blood, you're going to get out of breath and tire easily because you can't efficiently transport oxygen. So how does an unborn baby get oxygen? Babies aren't breathing, right? They're not exposed to air. So there's the placenta. And in the placenta, the fetal blood system and the maternal blood system 
are in very close proximity, but they don't mix together. That's how you can have a baby with a different uh, blood type and a different RH factor than the mother. The blood does not mix together. So um, unborn babies have a different kind of hemoglobin. We'll call it fetal hemoglobin HPF. It has a larger equilibrium constant. A large equilibrium constant means that it will proceed in the forward reaction binding oxygen more so than adult hemoglobin will. So the oxygen from the mother's blood gets transported to the fetus's blood. The fetal hemoglobin grabs that um, from the maternal hemoglobin because it's better at doing so. It has a higher equilibrium constant. That was not an awesome explanation. Questions? Well, how's it picking it up, though? It's not how's it picking it up? Well, that, that's a good question. So um, it's sort of this oh, stupid pointer. Anyway, I mean, how do your muscles get the blood? I mean, the oxygen. Well, the, the, yeah, the oxygen can diffuse through the, the uh, walls of the veins and the vessels into the uh, surrounding tissue. And that's the same thing that happens in the placenta. Yeah, so the blood vessels of the mom and the baby are close together, and so oxygen can diffuse across. The fetal hemoglobin will grab it and then take it off to the baby where it's needed. I'm not going to test you on the functions of hemoglobin. But I think it's interesting because here it is, an equilibrium situation occurring in your own body, and you know if that doesn't work, we're dead. So the whole thing with equilibrium is that it just it goes both ways and it's constantly. Yeah, equilibrium. The reaction can go in both directions, and in fact, it does go in both directions will it, will at the it same time. Constantly be one, uh, like in this case, uh, hemoglobin that is uh, constantly. <laughs> Like, is it the same? Because it's the same um, molecule of hemoglobin, right? It's just taking different... Yeah, so a given molecule of hemoglobin will take oxygen and it will release oxygen and take oxygen and release oxygen. And the position of the equilibrium has to do with how fast that taking and the giving is. Um, we'll get to more of what you're asking about in a minute, about what exactly is this equilibrium thing. 